bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <coughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. <coughs> George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <coughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, That was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said, there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. Pepper is asleep. Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night, night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. World Book Day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children, tomorrow is World Book Day, when we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, me, too. Too. me, me too. too. Good. Please come to playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. 
No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes, it can be any book you like. Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow. <laughs> mummy, Mummy, it's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Peppa? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book. Yes, I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peppa. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <coughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> Are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. My favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my. What wonderful costumes. Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 476,859,312. Oh, what an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Pepper? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, a, har, a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. Once upon a time. Peppa and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Pepper, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Pepper. We're walking there instead. 
walking all the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragging some fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> But there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -mm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Potatoes. Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Ticken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, <coughs> when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> you did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no. I didn't press save. <laughs> George, that's the highest score ever. <laughs> Duh, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick. Save, close, send. 
to you. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High School. Wow, that is a high school. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <coughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh, well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are doing nursery rhymes. Ooh! Who has a favourite nursery rhyme? My favourite is Mary had a little lamb. Oh, yes! Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Peppa. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes. And it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me, me. Yes, Pedro. <gasps> ba ba black sheep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? 
Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog loved to see such fun, <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. <laughs> Dishes <laughs> running away with spoons, and the cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one makes a lot more sense. Mice do like to run around. Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme that has numbers in it. Excellent, Wendy. Please share it with the class. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the poor little fish was frightened. It was kind to throw it back. Madam Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? I like Robin Hood. OK. And does Robin Hood have a rhyme? Yes. Robin Hood lived in a wood. He was very good at jumping in mud. <laughs> very good, Pedro. I made it up myself. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I know a rhyme about marching. <coughs> we have to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had ten thousand men. He marched them up to the top of the hill when he marched them down again. And when they're Good exercise. Madam Gazelle, do you have a favourite nursery rhyme? But of course, Pedro. Would you all like to sing it with me? Yes, please. Everybody, hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. <laughs> Peppa loves nursery rhymes. Everybody loves nursery rhymes. The library. It is bedtime. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Can I have a story, please? OK. I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth and goes to sleep. Uh, yes. That is what happens. Can we choose another story? The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The wonderful world of concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <sniffs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper! You must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. 
Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy! Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Fairies, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. Ugh. He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, he swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Pepper. But... I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Peppa's diary. Peppa is drawing a picture. <laughs> Look, I've drawn me and George. <laughs> That's lovely, Peppa. When I was a little piggy, I used to do drawings in my diary. What's a diary? It's a storybook you make about the things you do each day. This is my old diary. Ooh. This day, I got up and I played in the garden. Next day, got up, played in the garden. Next day... You got up, played in the garden. No. Next day, got up, played in the garden. Then the circus came to town. Here is the big tent with acrobats flying about. Wow! I want to keep a diary. Good idea, Peppa. You can start your very own diary. Oh, goody. <coughs> I'm going to draw in my diary every day. It is the next morning. Peppa is asleep. <laughs> morning time. I got up. <laughs> I played in the garden. Then what happened? Grrr. Oh, yes. George's dinosaur said grrr. But that is not interesting enough for my diary. Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig are getting lunch ready. Mummy, I've run out of things to put in my diary. Oh, why don't you tidy your room? But it needs to be something exciting. You went to the circus. Hmm, I've got an idea. Daddy Pig, please fetch the toy basket. Right you are, Mummy Pig. Daddy Pig is taking the toy basket into the garden. What are we doing? We can make our own circus. Roll up, roll up. See the amazing Mummy Pig juggle before your very eyes. <laughs> Watch as Daddy Pig juggles with four plastic skittles. <laughs> oh, oh, George, please hold this hoop. And now, a mummy pig will jump through the hoop. Oh, OK. Drum roll, please. 
Hoop la! Hooray! <laughs> this is just like a real circus. And now, Peppa Pig will jump through the hoop. Drum roll, please. Hoop la! Hooray! And now, George Pig. <laughs> Daddy's turn. Yes. The hoop seems to have shrunk since I last used it. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Where is Daddy going now? Ta-da! Here's my old unicycle. I used to ride it a lot before I met Mummy Pig. Whoa. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Ah! Where are the brakes? Ah! <laughs> Ta-da! Hooray! That was the best circus ever. Now I've got lots to put in my diary. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. <clears throat> Today, I got up, I played in the garden, then the circus came to town. Ta-da! What a busy day. Yes. And tomorrow, I will do lots more things and draw them in my diary. Oh. Peppa loves keeping a diary. <laughs> Everyone loves keeping a diary. Hop, skip, jump. Peppa and George are playing in the garden. Can't catch me. <laughs> You're never going to get me. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Rebecca, what are you playing? We are running! Running is good, but can you hop? Yes, I can! Hop, hop, hop! That's not hopping, Peppa. That's jumping. Oh! Hopping is when you jump up and down on one leg, like this. Hop, 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 hop. Rebecca hop, Rabbit hop, is good hop, at hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 hop. Come on, George. Hopping is easy. You just jump on one leg. Hop. Hop. That's it. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Hopping is fun. Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Susie. Susie. What are you playing? We are hopping! Like this! <laughs> Super duper! But can you skip? Yes! We can skip! 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 skip, skip. <laughs> That's not skipping. That is just funny running. Oh. oh! Skipping is when you hop on one leg, then hop on the other leg. Like this! Susie is good at skipping. Hop on one leg. And then the other. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> oh. George is good at skipping. <laughs> I can skip the highest. I can skip the longest. <laughs> I can skip the fastest. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hey. Hello, Hello, Pedro. What are you playing? We were hopping. And now we are skipping. Have you done jumping? No, but I love jumping. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. Peppa is good at jumping. Hopping, skipping and jumping. Can you do them all together? What? what? Like this. Oh! That's impossible! I mean a hop, a skip and then a jump. Like this. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh! My go! Hop, skip, ah, jump! No, that's wrong. I can do it! Skip, skip, 
hop. No. Jump, jump, jump. No. Let me try. Jump, hop, hop. <gasps> no. Hop, skip, jump is not easy. You have to keep it steady, like this. Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Peppa has found a muddy puddle. Hop, splash, skip, splash, jump, splash. Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> this is the best. Peppa loves hop, skip, jump. Everyone loves hop, skip, jump, especially in muddy puddles. Rescuing Miss Rabbit. Peppa is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. <laughs> Here is Mr. Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Thank goodness you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder. What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Bull. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on, this is my ladder. Yes, lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye! Bye! See you later. Oh, so how am I going to get down? In the library, Peppa, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad. Hello, a grampy rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry. I'm on my way. 
Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. Playing pretend. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Let's do a bicycle race. OK. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> oh, no! What's the matter, Peppa? My tyre has gone flat. It's only a puncture. I'm a bit of an expert at mending punctures. First, we take off the wheel. Next, we take the tyre off the wheel. Are you coming, Peppa? Then we need a bucket of water. Can you do it quickly, Daddy? I won't be long, Peppa. While you wait, you could pretend to ride a bicycle. Pretend? Yes, your very own pretend bicycle. Hmm. OK, I have thought of a very nice bike. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm riding my bicycle. La, 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 la. <laughs> Why are you walking, Funny? I'm not walking, Susie. Where's your bicycle? It's here. It's a pretend bicycle. It's got sparkly wheels and it's painted like a rainbow. Ooh. I wish I had a pretend bicycle. You can, and it can be anything you like. OK, my pretend bicycle is pink and fluffy. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Here is Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. Do you want to play ball? Have you got a ball? No. It doesn't matter. We can have a pretend ball. Catch, Danny! <laughs> Let's give it a big kick. Oof! Oh! Hello, everyone. It is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. We're playing with a pretend ball. Until Danny kicked it over there. Oh, I know a pretending game. You have to guess what I am. You're a rabbit. No, I'm pretending to be something else. Are you a donkey? No. Are you a fluffy elephant? No. A space rocket? No. <sighs> this is going to take a long time, isn't it? Ask me if I'm big. Are you big? No. I'll give you a clue. I'm a vegetable. Hmm. Can you give us a better clue? Ask me if I'm a carrot. Are you a carrot? Yes. Hooray! <laughs> George has come to play. George, you pretend to be something and we will guess what you are. <laughs> A dinosaur. <laughs> That's too easy, George. You can be anything in the whole wide world. George is thinking. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, everyone. Here is Pedro Pony. What are you playing? We were playing a pretend guessing game, but I think that game is over. What game do you want to play, Pedro? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! Let's find some puddles! <coughs> oh, there are no puddles. <coughs> you need rain for puddles. We can pretend it's raining. <laughs> It's raining, it's pouring, the splish, the splosh, the rain comes down, diddly, diddly, diddly. The pretend rain has made pretend puddles. Hooray! Splish, splash, splosh! Peppa, your bike is mended. I don't need it now, Daddy. Oh? I'm 
pretending to jump up and down in muddy puddles. Ah, yes. Those puddles do look rather good. I think I'll do some puddle jumping myself. Ready? Steady? Stop! What's the matter, Peppa? If you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> but I'm wearing my best pretend boots. <laughs> Then you are allowed to jump. Ready, steady, jump! <laughs> Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in pretend muddy puddles. Shadows. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit are playing piggy in the middle. Cat Pepper. Cat Rebecca. George is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> oh, George is trying to catch the ball's shadow. Silly George, that's not the ball, that's just its shadow. Look! When the ball moves, its shadow moves as well. You've got a shadow too, George. George is trying to walk away from his shadow. You can't walk away from your shadow. You need to run away from it. Peppa is trying to run away from her shadow. Oh, it's still there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Susie. We're trying to run away from our shadows. No one can run away from their shadow. Oh. You need to use a scooter. Whee! Susie is trying to ride away from her shadow. See? But your shadow is still there. Oh! Hello, everyone. Here is Mr Elephant with Emily and Edmund. Hello. <coughs> We're trying to run away from our shadows. You can never run away from your shadow. I know. We can't go fast enough. No, Susie. It's nothing to do with how fast you run. You see? My shadow is still underneath me. Run faster! Even if I run faster, my shadow keeps up with me. Daddy, your shadow is too big. It's slowing you down. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that, Emily. Your shadow always stays with you. Why? When something gets in the way of the sun, it makes a shadow like this. Oh. oh. I have the biggest shadow because I'm the biggest. And George and I have the smallest shadows because we are the smallest. Very clever, Edmund. I'm a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Whose shadow is that? That's the biggest shadow ever. It must be a giant. <laughs> it's not a giant. The shadow is being made by a cloud. Wow! What sort of cloud is it? Um, it's a big cloud. It's called a stratocumulus. Yes. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. Look, our shadows are getting longer. Ooh! That's because the sun is getting lower in the sky. It's nearly night time. My shadow has gone. Yes, Emily. When the sun sets, the shadows go away. Peppa, George, bedtime. OK, Daddy. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. It is bedtime. I'm a bit sad that my shadow's gone away. Don't be sad, Peppa. The electric light can make shadows. And we can make shadow puppets. Mummy Pig is using her hands to make a shadow puppet. It's a birdie! <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it sing. Tweet, tweet, I'm a little birdie. <laughs> My turn. Pepper has made a spider. My name is Mr Skinny Legs. Oh, scary. <laughs> George is making a shadow puppet. What's that? George. Dinosaur. George has made a dinosaur. <laughs> That's really scary. Very good, George. <laughs> Time to switch the lights out. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Good night, Shadows. 
Good night, shadows. <laughs> Paper aeroplanes. Daddy Pig is getting ready to go to work. Good. That's all the papers I need. Bye. Bye bye, Daddy. Mummy, can we make something? Yes. What would you like to make? Dinosaur. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Let's make an aeroplane. <laughs> George likes aeroplanes. Can we make an aeroplane that flies? Yes. All we need is some paper. <laughs> we know where there's paper. <laughs> there is lots of old paper in the workroom. Here's some paper. Perfect. Mummy Pig is going to make a paper aeroplane. Fold the paper down the middle. <laughs> now fold the corners in at one end. Fold those corners in again to make a point. Then fold the sides back like this. Paper aeroplanes! <laughs> Let's see if they can fly. Ready, steady, go! Mummy Pig's aeroplane has flown into a tree. My turn! Whee! Pepper's aeroplane has landed in a flower pot. Your turn, George. Whee! George's aeroplane is doing a loop the loop and has landed in the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a big aeroplane. We'll need a really big piece of paper. <laughs> Here's a big piece of blue paper. <laughs> Pepper and George have made a big blue aeroplane. <laughs> Pig. Hello, everyone. Shouldn't you be at work? Yes, but I've forgotten some important papers. Daddy, we're making aeroplanes. <laughs> we made a really big one. Wow, fantastic. You need someone big and strong to throw it. Ready, steady, go! The big blue aeroplane is flying very high and very far. It just keeps on going. Bye-bye, aeroplane. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Now, I need to find my important work papers. Has anyone seen any pieces of paper? Um, uh, maybe you should follow me. Is this one of your important papers? Yes, that's one of them. Is this one of your important papers, Daddy? Yes. Thank you, Pepper. Uh, why are we at the duck pond? Oh, I see. Thank you, Mrs. Duck. The only paper I'm missing now is a big blueprint. Hmm. Is it big and blue? Like the aeroplane you flew a long way away, Daddy. Oh, um... The one that we said bye-bye to? Yes. Maybe I should ring the office. This is Daddy Pig's office. Hello, Daddy Pig. Did you find the papers? I found some of them. The only one we need is the big blueprint. Uh, that might be a problem. Daddy threw it away. Threw it away? And it flew and flew forever. Ah, it's here. It just landed on my desk. Eh? What a great idea to make it into a paper aeroplane and throw it to us. Oh, yes. Well, I am a bit of an expert at throwing things. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Now the blueprint is delivered, Daddy Pig can take the rest of the day off work. Ah, that's nice. Daddy, we need your newspaper. What for? Making paper aeroplanes. <laughs> 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 Work and play. It is a lovely sunny morning. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Daddy, aren't you going to work today? No, Peppa. It's Saturday. Daddy Pig doesn't work on Saturdays. Daddy Pig, you'll be late for work. <laughs>
But it's Saturday, Mummy Pig, isn't it? No, it's Thursday. Oh. Daddy Pig works on Thursdays. See you later. Bye-bye. <coughs> Poor Daddy having to work. Lucky Mummy, you can play at home all day. I'm not playing. I'm working on my computer. <laughs> George wants to play the Happy Mrs Chicken game. George, we can play the Happy Mrs Chicken game after I've finished my work. Oh. Mummy Sheep and Susie have come to pick up Peppa for playgroup. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> have a good day at playgroup. Bye-bye, Mummy. Work hard. <laughs> Mrs Sheep, do you work? Or do you play? I am going to be working very hard today. <laughs> I'm off to the gym. What do you do at the gym? Running, jumping and skipping. Mummy, that's not work. That's play. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie have arrived at the playgroup. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Children, today we will play shops. Ooh. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me! 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 Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. Peppa and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie, and you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No, but we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be a hundred pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. Nay. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No. But you can have the toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak. Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot? Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Pepper and Susie. Daddy, have you had a busy day? Yes. I've been working very hard. We've been working very hard too. We've been shopkeepers. Blah, 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 blah. The end. And print. Mummy Pig has finished her work. <laughs> OK, George. Perhaps we could just play one game of Happy Mrs Chicken. We've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty Mummy, you're playing Happy Mrs Chicken. Oh, that's because George and I have finished our work, haven't we, George? We've all finished our work, so let's all play. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George and Susie are playing in the garden with their favourite toys. George has Mr Dinosaur, Susie has Penguin and Pepper has Teddy. Teddy, what game shall we play? Squeak, squeak. You want to roll down the hill? OK. <laughs> Let's jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> What's that, Teddy? You want to jump in muddy puddles too? OK! Splash, splash, splash! Oops! Peppa has slipped and fallen on Teddy. Sorry, I sat on you, Teddy. Are you all having fun? Yes! Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Oh, Teddy, you look a bit under the weather. What do you mean? 
Teddy is a bit muddy. Oh, I took Penguin to the doll hospital and now he's as good as new. What's a doll hospital? It's where dolls go to get better. They get washed, filled up with stuffing and even get new voices. You are my best friend, Susie. I love you a lot, Susie. Ooh, Mummy, can we take Teddy to the doll hospital, please? What a good idea. This is the doll hospital. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Peppa. Welcome to the doll hospital, where we turn dolls like this into dolls like this. Ooh. Ooh. Have you got a sick dolly? Yes. What is it? A mouse or a dog? It's a bear. Well, we have got our work cut out, haven't we? <coughs> ah! And a dinosaur. Are you booking them both in? Yes, please. OK. So tell me, little bear, what have you been doing to get so poorly? Teddy has been rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles and being sat on. It's no wonder you're not looking your best. There'll be no more rolling down hills, jumping in muddy puddles or being sat on once I've finished with you. But Teddy likes doing those things. You do seem a bit floppy. Nothing some extra stuffing won't fix. What do you mean? Look, this elephant is a bit sad, but he just needs more stuffing. Teddy likes being floppy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Would Mr Dinosaur like some extra stuff? <laughs> OK. Would Teddy like a new outfit? Here we have a smart sailor's uniform. But Teddy is a girl. Girls can be sailors too, Pepper. Yes, but Teddy doesn't want to be a sailor. How about a pilot? No. Beatsy diver? No. What about a princess? I think Teddy is happy not to have any clothes, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? No. Fair enough. Would Teddy like new eyes? You know what they say, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What's a soul? Uh, it's a bit complicated. Just look at these eyes. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or even these googly eyes. The soul thingy might look a bit wrong with those eyes on. Teddy's eyes don't need changing, thank you, Miss Rabbit. What about Mr Dinosaur? Does he want some new eyes? No. Fine. One thing I can offer you, Teddy, is a new voice. The voices come in little plastic boxes which go inside the doll. Hello. I love you. That isn't how Teddy talks. I'm so happy. I want to play. That's not Teddy. You are my best friend. But that's Penguin's voice. You are my best friend. Susie. Mr Dinosaur, do you want a new voice? <laughs> Silly question, really. There is one last thing I can do for you, Teddy. That's give you a wash. No, Teddy doesn't need a wash. OK, I'm finished. And it's good news. There's nothing wrong with Teddy or Mr Dinosaur. That's wonderful. Would you like to pay by cash or credit card? Oh. Teddy, I love you just the way you are. And I always will. Ha, 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 